guys, welcome to today's video. Today I will be doing something that I have needed to do for a long time and that is to clean my makeup station because it's a mess and since I don't do my makeup that often one would think that it wouldn't be too hard to actually keep it clean but for some reason I make a mess of it but I will be cleaning everything, cleaning my brushes, cleaning all my makeup I'm gonna speed up all the cleaning so you guys just get to see it really quick and then we can start going through what I actually have in my makeup collection 2018 let's get started My makeup is clean, my brushes are in the bathroom drying, but now let's go through all my stuff. It's so nice that it's all clean. <laughs> I also got this from our storage. I got it uh, in a collaboration I did with a company many years ago, and the things I never use, they're going in or never use. I use them often enough to keep them, but sell them enough to not have them out. So, what do we start with? My palettes, I guess. I have this palette from The Balm. Meet Matte Nude. This was one of the first nice eyeshadow palettes I got. So I have Meet Matte Nude, and I also have Meet Matrimony. And that one looks like these. I mean, I don't wear eyeshadow that often, so my palettes go in this drawer. A third eyeshadow palette is, uh, let's see, Morphe. Kathleen Lights. And it looks like these. Also a very nice palette. Contouring palette <laughs> from NYX that is broken sadly, but I use it a lot so I keep it around even though it's broken and super annoying. So that we're keeping up here. I have got another oops, contouring palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Cream contour in the shade Fair, I guess. I've got a fairly new blush palette from By Terry in number five, Hippie Chic. Very nice. Got quite a lot of shimmer in it. A blush from Wet n Wild in the shade Mellow Wine. Another blush called Cabana Boy by The Balm. I have quite a lot of The Balm products because I like them, I think they're good. Bahama Mama, a bronzer from The Balm. Looks like this. And another The Balm product, it's called Instain Long Wearing Staining Powder Blush in the shade Pinstripe, which is a little bit too purple for my taste. But I do like these a little bit darker uh, blushes. This is a new favorite, it's from By Terry in the shade Platonic Blonde, number one. It's a very nice peachy shade. Also very nice to use as eyeshadow. This is the first like high-end makeup that I bought. It's from Estee Lauder, it's not cruelty free and it's in the shade Pure Color, number one, Tees. And like Tanya Burr and that whole crew swore by this and they were like you need to get it now so i like ran out christmas day and i was like 
I need to get that blush. It costs like $55 or something. It's nice. It really is nice. But do you die without it? Definitely not. <laughs> Here's a other favorite called Kink and Kisses from Marc Jacobs. Very nice pinky shade. Does a person need these many blushes? No, but blush is one of my favorite products, which is why I have so many. I have this highlighter from Fenty Beauty in the shades Mean Money and Hustle Baby, but it's a little bit dark and a little bit gold for my taste. I have one blush, or kind of two, from Bare Minerals. Let's call this a blush as well. Bare Minerals. This is Warmth. I don't really want to open them since they're powder. This gives a nice warmth to the face. And Hint. Bare Minerals are my favorite products, or all my Bare Minerals products are amazing. I have a Bare Minerals highlighter called Clear Radiance, which has a little bit of a pinky tone. Here's another very famous highlighter, Mary Luminizer from The Balm. It is uh, a little bit too chunky for me, but now that my favorite highlighter has broken, <laughs> I kind of reach for this just because it's a hassle to use this. This is uh, Strobe Light Afterglow Lumine Luminescence Nocturne from Milani. As you can see, it's crushed. This is a nice uh, single eyeshadow I have from Makeup Store. It's a very nice uh, kind of brown purple shimmery shade. Well, this is one of my favorite singles that I have. I have this whole collection from Yidun Minerals because I did a collaboration with them recently. This is a sh blush in the shade Tronbär, um, cranberry in Swedish or English. <laughs> also a little bit too pink for my taste. And then I have two foundation, powder foundations from Eden Minerals. They are okay, however they have a shimmer to them which enhances my pores a lot. So that's why I reach for my Bare Minerals that are completely matte rather than these. Here is a kind of setting powder from by Terry. It has kind of a weird shade and weird shimmer to it, so I don't really know what you're supposed to do with this product. This is a bronzer from Eden Minerals, and it's called Midnight Soul, which means Midnight Sun. And a setting powder, I think, from Eden. This is my all-time go-to favorite 100% love brow product from the makeup store called Try Brow Color. This comes in three shades, and then they have another set that has three different shades, I think. They don't even have more than that. I don't know if you guys would have liked these to be like in categories, like all my blushes, all my highlights, all my contours. But I have so little products that I don't feel like it matters really. Am I right? Am I wrong? Uh, this is a Milani contour and highlight stick. So it has the contour stick on this end and a little bit of liquid highlight or creamy highlight on this side. Never use this, but I do use the contouring. A primer that I have started liking a lot. It's by By Terry. And let's see if I can show you guys. It gives the most, like, I don't know. Can you guys see? It gives a really nice sheen to the face and skin. It's like highlighter without the hassle. It's very fragrant. That's like the biggest minus. It like smells a lot, but oh well. On primers, I have two other primers. This is my favorite primer. It's completely out. So I only keep it as a reminder to buy a new one. It's the Bare Minerals Prime Time Original Primer. And this is Elizabeth Arden Flawless Start Instant Perfecting Primer Base Perfect. And this I'm not sold on, however, these two in combination with each other actually works great because th this fills my pores and this kind of gives a nice base. So I like the combo of these two. Uh, concealer, this is, I have owned two concealers. One Eden concealer that is cream, liquid, whatever you want to call it. And one powder concealer from the Bare Minerals called Well Rested. So this is mainly for under the eyes, but I use it everywhere because I'm a rebel. And here is the rest of my Bare Minerals kit. Bare Minerals foundation in Fairly Light. Original Mineral Veil, another Fairly Light. And a setting powder, this is not uh, Bare Minerals, this is by Terry, so it's just a regular setting powder, like the RCMA, no color powder. So these are quite similar to each other. I don't use these when I use powder foundation, but if I ever go back to using liquid foundation, definitely gonna use these. Some tools I have. I have a nail file, <laughs> a pair of scissors, eyelash curler, 
I'm not gonna go through my lash collection now because one, they don't look so nice because I've used all of them 100 times and two, I don't remember what any of them are called so it's not very interesting. This is a cream highlighter from Fenty Beauty. Here I have two not cruelty free, FYI, eyeliners from Clinique, I think. And what I love about these is that they are cake eyeliners. I love applying eyeliner with a separate brush. Uh, that's how I learned to do eyeliner properly. And I also have one in brown. But for convenience, since I kind of have to dip the brush in water and do it. Uh, for convenience, I use my other all-time favorite eyeliner, which is Schwing from The Balm. This is like, nothing competes with this. This is the best eyeliner that's ever existed. Kat Von D tattoo liner, go to hell. <laughs> This is where it's at. Two eyeliner pens, kinda. Uh, Models Own and Givenchy. Uh, some of the things in my collection are not cruelty-free. However, I do not purchase makeup that is not cruelty-free. So whatever isn't cruelty-free has been sent to me. I have this NYX uh, Jumbo Eye Pencil in white, which is great for the, the waterline pencil sharpener. For my uh, lip pens, these are the only two lip pens I ever use. My all, 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 all time favorite. This is like the hundredth I go through. Mm, Fairy Tale Dream from the makeup store. Looks. I like that. <laughs> and this is neutral, also from the makeup store, which is also pretty close to my own color. So. These are the only lip pens I own and use. <laughs> this is an eyebrow product and this is an eyebrow product. This is from Yidun Minerals. It's like a fiber infused volumizing tinted brow gel. Not crazy about the applicator, which is why I don't use it often, but sometimes I do and it's okay. And this I love, it's NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. I had the Anastasia Brow Whiz that I never use. I got it because it was like, super hyped. I know the Brow Wiz is more hyped than the Brow Definer. This is the Brow Definer. Um, and the Brow Wiz is people's favorite. But I just don't like applying eyebrow makeup with a pen. I do have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade, Dip Brow Pomade in Blonde, and I like it. But it's really for these like cartoon brows that are like Instagram makeup ish, which I very rarely do. Now I think we only have one thing left before the lip products and that is the best mascara that has ever existed in the universe. I think it's vegan, it's definitely cruelty free, it's called Aid and it's from Eden Minerals. The applicator is my favorite kind of like big thick bushy applicator and I really don't see any reason to ever use any other mascara ever again in my life because this is the best. Okay, lip products. Um, whatever it's called. Chapstick. <laughs> One Marc Jacobs uh, liquid lipstick in some kind of mauve slow burn. And then two from By Terry. This is a really dark mauve shade. Um, up there. Still, like again, a little bit too dark for my taste. And this is a like duo that it looks like this. It's red and darker red. I have one other red that I use. It's Immortal by Gerard Cosmetics and it's like 100% red, 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 red. And a lip gloss from Fenty Beauty. And my favorite that you guys always, always, always ask about is this. This is Serenity from Gerard Cosmetics. It's the only shade pretty much that I ever, ever, wear the top one there and last but not least a regular lipstick for once from Idun um, which is also a little bit darker than I want it to be it's way darker than it looks in the like what it looks like down here so these don't match but it's still nice to have a regular lipstick because they're a bit more comfortable to wear on the lips that's all that's all my makeup I'm sure it seems like a lot to some of you, but to most people who watch like makeup collections on YouTube, this is like one drawer for people. <laughs> and now I'm going to pack this stuff into this thing, however that's gonna work. Standing stuff gets to be on the top. I mean, to be
be honest, this setup is terrible for makeup. Like, who stores makeup in these, like, triangular slots? Like, this, like, this I can understand where it's, like, sections, but these are just absolutely terrible. It's such a waste of space. <laughs> There's really no good place to store these Bare Minerals products. <laughs> um, not, not even one fits in this. I love them so much that they get one section each. I even think I have enough to do that. There. Okay, I think that's, uh, that's it. That's all for today's cleaning and organizing and collection showing video. I hope you guys have liked it. And I also want to point out that I'm not trying to sound condescending or like I'm better than other people because I have less makeup than them. Definitely not the case. I am not that into makeup. That's why I have a limited amount. The reason I point it out is because I kind of want to be the counterpart of the, all these YouTubers who show they're extreme, huge, like my entire makeup room makeup collections because not all YouTubers have those crazy collections and you don't need to have those crazy collections either. You just need the makeup that you use. And if you want more, it's because it brings you joy and that you enjoy trying new things and that you enjoy mixing up your looks and all of these things. But if you are like me and you look the same, Every single day, you rarely do makeup, or even if you do makeup, you do the same look all the time. And I personally do not enjoy trying new products because it might be shitty. So I'd rather stick to the products I have that I know are good, so I don't have to spend my money on shitty products. So if you are like me, then a minimal amount is enough. And if you don't want to wear makeup at all, don't. You really don't have to. Nobody needs to wear makeup. It's supposed to be fun and creative to do makeup. And do I only do makeup because it's fun and creative? No. I also am a victim of the society, the world, telling me that I am a better person if my face looks a certain way. Uh, that's nothing that I am free from. And I don't do makeup only for my own sake. I do it to look nice. And there's a reason why I feel that I look nicer with makeup on compared to makeup off. That's what we are told all the time. Okay, enough with the pep talk. I hope you guys have enjoyed this little video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And I also started the sponsorships on my channel now. So if you do want to sponsor me, there's a like, little button next to the subscribe button that says sponsor. And if you don't know anything about what this whole sponsor thing is, then I will link my explanation video up there and in the description. Thanks for watching. Until the next video, have a super good one. I'll see you guys later.